Just some heavy hitting. Oh, okay. Hello. We thank you for coming and joining us. And, and actually, Sister Giovanni, I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if I'm getting it right. <laughs> Hello, how you doing tonight? Well, today, depends on what time you're watching this, but uh, we just come to you to share a few things about um, where we are now and how we got to where we are now in way of ministry, in way of, you know, guys leading and guiding, because uh, it was interesting when we got the information to make a short video. And one thing that has always been part of our interest is to serve. We just truly just love to serve in all capacities. And to go to the point of actually starting a ministry, which actually it started way before the ministry grew to where it is, because uh, back when I was at Promised Land, we was making CDs and tapes, and well, they were tapes then. But, and whenever I went out and preached or did anything, we always went on the Truth Life Ministries. And it's interesting that, but it followed us. So God hadn't birthed it yet into a reality of being a set apart ministry. So even when we, I got my first pastoral um, appointment, well, got voted in. But even then, we actually went into the church and still had our ministry going. So when I did something outside of the church, I actually we still used Truth Life Ministries whenever we went to preach or had tapes and things. And it's interesting because that brought some serious insight because at the church that we were at, um, we had Truth Life Ministries and they kind of had issues with that, you know, in regards to going out and doing things and even the name Truth Life Ministries, because even though I never associated it with the church, the church had came to me and started having a disagreement about, they said, we're not a ministry. And I really had to explain to them at that time, it was not anything done under the church name or anything to that capacity. But I hope as a church, you are a ministry because ultimately we have to be a ministry, whether it's a large church. If you do not have ministry in your church, then you're not reaching anyone. You're not getting out. So they didn't quite fully understand what ministry meant. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in the church, we don't understand, especially because we get so focused on the small aspect of it, but God and his leading and guiding us to bigger things had ministries in our vocabulary from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then as it moved along, he said, now it's time to launch, mm -hmm. to get a facility, to get a building, to step out and be able to touch others that won't go to a normal church or a regular church and things that capacity. Because we really strong on teaching and, and getting people to understand and grow. Well, our ministry is about helping others grow and reach their full potential. So I, I, I move along real fast. But so in essence, all of that comes back to the point of as far as entrepreneurship and vision, when God gave it to us, and the thing about an entrepreneur, even when they take on a task or they're forming a new business, they, 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 they have to have initiative. Mm -hmm. You know, and it has to be some risk involved. Mm -hmm. So you have to have initiative and risk. And a lot of times, because of fear, we don't reach out and take risks. We don't have initiative to go beyond our comfort zone. And that's the same way it is with the ministry. Because in all actuality, the ministry, and I remember um, our grandfather in the gospel used to say it all the time, the church, if you got two legs and one of them cut off, or one arm is short, then you're going to do a lot of limping. You're going to be walking around and limping. Everybody's like, what's wrong with you? So if you don't have the spiritual and business aspect of ministry together, mm -hmm. then something is going to go lacking. Mm -hmm. You know, as, as bad as I hate to say it, and I know some people, especially in church, don't like to talk about it, but if you have to have the business aspect, or the ministry can't go for mm -hmm. And even when the Bible said money answers for all things, the reality is it requires that in order to get it out to the masses. Mm -hmm. So... We had a vision and God gave it to us and he never let it die. And because he never let it die, he kept it, the passion rolling inside of us because it's all about serving. Mm -hmm. And when you serve enough people, then God will bless you accordingly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in reference to God's vision, we must understand that whatever we do, 
in every every area of our lives. We must have, as Christians and as those of us who say we're following God to do things and, and following God's vision, we must have God as our focus. Um, and we must trust him. We must have trust in God. We must have communication with him and understand that as you take risk, um, many times it takes us to fail at having uh, our situations uh, uh fail for us to keep our focus. So understand that as an entrepreneur and as uh, doing ministry, everything may not work out the way it should or you want it to work out only because God is teaching us how to stay focused on Him and uh, teaching us how to not give up. Um, many things that, again, that happen as we try to uh, have this initiative to go forth and continue with the passion uh, the enemy is going to try to attack and uh, different things are going to happen. But the true test is, will you ever give up? And trust and believe as you um, embark on entrepreneurship, as you embark on ministry, again, failures happen. But everybody that you see that is successful in anything has probably first failed because failure teaches us lessons on how to succeed. And so, but the point of the matter is, and the true test, true test is to no matter if it works out the way you think it should work out or not, we should always stay focused and we should never give up on the vision that God has given us. Amen. So just remember, we started out and it was all about serving. We just wanted to reach as many people as we could and be real, reliable, relatable, and relevant because we wanted to reach them where they were at. And, you know, and I tell folks a lot of times, you know, Jesus, he meets you where you are, whatever this is your downtime, whether it's your time of trouble, mm -hmm. whether it's your time of mishap, or whether it's your time of abundance. God will meet you there and help guide you to where he wants you to be. Mm -hmm. And see, that's the whole thing about when you're a visionary, you're an entrepreneur. You see, you have an initiative, a vision that God has placed upon you, and you know it may not be easy because that means you are embarking upon something that no one else has done. Mm -hmm. Or you don't have the blueprint, so to speak. But because you have enough faith that God is with you, mm -hmm. then you know that regardless of how it may seem right then, that since he's giving you the vision, you know it's going to come to pass. So, and that's the thing about it is once God gives you the vision to, to step out, you can't really be concerned about how many step not with you, but just know that God told you. And if God said it, that sells it. That sells it, and so shall it be. You might fall, you might uh, misunderstand, you might have failures, but in the end, when the dust clears, if we stay focused on God, never give up. He will get us to the destination, His vision, as He has planned in the end. So never, so never, ever give up on God's vision for your life or for your ministry. Amen. And just realize that fear is not something that we as Christians should have control or rule over our life. We should have faith. Mm -hmm. And when you have faith, you know, if you know if God called you, says, he will actually do more, I mean, exceedingly abundantly above all that you may ask or think. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, we have to have the faith and believe. And, you know, and, it's, and once we do things, then God will put the finishing touch on it. So just remember, don't be afraid to try. Because if God is with you, he's with you. And he will not let you fail. Mm -hmm. Amen.